Hi, I'm Ed Dawson. I'm here at I-94 RV in Russell, Illinois. We're located on Interstate 94. You can see it in the background, right at the Illinois-Wisconsin border. In front of us, we've got a 2013 Columbus. This is uh, built by Palomino, a Forest River company. It's model 325RL. Beautiful exterior. Uh, this is a off-white gel coat with coffee accents. As we move around, uh, you'll see several items, the nice graphics on the front. You'll notice uh, that the exterior windows are frameless. Awning style windows. A lot of nice amenities on this unit. Great looking wheels. There's your hookups and as you can see you've got electric stabilizer jacks. As with any fifth wheel the, the front jacks are electric. Got a ladder. Storage for your sewer hose in the back. Big slide out here. Notice the frameless windows again, the big window, and it actually operates, tilts out from the bottom and has a screen in it. Large awning across the top, exterior speakers. A few items on the outside that we need to take a, a closer look at. First is a surprise behind this door. Behind that door, we find this outdoor kitchen. And it is a complete kitchen. As you can see, it's got a sink with hot and cold water. Uh, several cabinets, uh, a refrigerator, a microwave, a two burner cooktop that slides back in. Uh, there's a LP quick connect that hooks that up right below the unit here. Very, very useful outdoor kitchen. Next we're going to look at uh, the utility end of this unit. Starting here on the door size, we have a large storage space up front. You'll notice back there that we have a heat vent. We have a battery cutoff. We have hookups for a TV. We have the uh, clean out for your Eureka whole house uh, vacuum system. We have a USB plug-in and we have a uh, wired remote for the stereo system in here. As we move, move forward, where the usual dual, or I should say on each side there's usually a, a 30 pound uh, LP tank in a fifth wheel. Here we have two 20s on a slide out tray. They'll slide right back in. Easy to get to and easy to have refilled. You can do exchanges rather than looking for some place to uh, that you can use a 30 pounder. Uh, you'll notice in the front compartment we also have a little rack for storage. Your battery is fully enclosed to protect you against fumes. Here's a close-up of the landing gear apparatus. As we go around the other side, we have a third 20-pound LP tank. And on the other side of the storage area, we have a totally self-contained hookup compartment. Your black tank valves are in here, your shower's in here, your whole house uh, filtering system's in here, your winterizing valves are in here, uh, your bypass for your hot water tank is in here, your cable hookups are in here, everything you could want is inside this one nice neat compartment. Now we've taken a little bit closer look at the outside, let's uh, head inside this Columbus. As we head inside this 2013 Columbus, the first thing you'll notice is the four-door stainless steel refrigerator, huge RV refrigerator. As we swing around, your eyes caught by uh, those two uh, leather loungers uh, that are actually an entertainment center theater style loungers. Freestanding dinette here. There's two other chairs in a uh, closet in the bedroom. Swing around, 
lots of windows you'll notice uh, big windows across the back with a sofa that converts into a sleeper when you uh, are sitting in the loungers you're looking at this huge uh, appears to be about a 47 inch TV and you can flick on the fireplace to get a little heat you'll notice there's a lot of storage around here DVD player in that black section above the TV uh, there is a ceiling fan some more hanging pendant lights uh, up top along with all the hidden halogen lights all over as we get into the kitchen area you see these are very very rich looking cabinets we have a dual bowl stainless steel residential size sink with a pull out high rise faucet the extension on the one side lots of drawers stainless steel fronted oven with three burner cooktop on it and a hinged uh, solid surface cover for it that's a GE profile microwave convection microwave with light and fan inside of it swinging over the uh, door with that nice window in it we've got a nice antique looking clock let's head up these stairs you'll notice the stairs are not carpeted so you won't get the matting in that that you normally would with carpeted stairs those are hardwood and we'll head into the bedroom nice chest of drawers right here in front of us it's got a TV above it we'll show that a little bit later big big wardrobe in the back this cabinet is also a wardrobe or it's pre plumbed for a washer dryer either a combination or a stackable swinging around we see the king size bed in this unit it's in a slide out got nice little magazine racks on the side of it a private hard door that slides closed to isolate the room and I did promise a look at what to me appears to be somewhere in the 32 inch range of a TV that you can look at while you lie in bed heading back down the st down towards the stairs let's take a look inside the bathroom as we enter the bathroom you see the porcelain foot flush toilet but more importantly this is a five foot wide shower with a bench in it lots of built-in shelves for everything you need a medicine cabinet solid surface countertop on a nice round big sink vanity here I don't know if I mentioned the flooring but this is nice wood plank flooring and then heading back into the living area we get a view of the entire living area again with that plank floor in it uh, again this is a 2013 Columbus by Palomino it's model 325 RL I'm Ed Dawson we're here at I-94 RV in Russell Illinois we're located right on Interstate 94 at the Illinois Wisconsin border thanks for watching this video